so now we're here at um, 19 volts DC and we're going to turn the capacitor on and get the recording of the data going here we'll be okay when we turn this on now yep so the capacitors pulled the voltage back to 2.1 volts we've got a flow of 3 amps right here which is perfect and the capacitor was at 0 volts it jumped straight away to 2.2 volts which is the power supply's ability to deliver energy we're at 3 amps so now we're charging Now we can turn this meter off to Okay, so we're now nearly at 2.7 volts. I'm going to wind the power supply back so we don't damage the supercapacitor. And I'm winding it back now to maintain 2.7 volts. Here we go, bring it back up again, threshold, okay so now the current's falling away to maintain the voltage, this is the final mile where we've pulled the supercapacitor up to complete full, complete that charge. So you're going to find me winding the power supply back slightly by volts to let the current fall away. Okay, so that's full. The supercapacitor is full of 2.7 volts. We've got no more current flowing. And from that we can calculate energy which has been moved from the power supply into the supercapacitor over the time period.